Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use Laplace smoothing or correction to remove zero probability problem in Navbase classifier with a simple numerical example. Navbase is a probabilistic classifier based on the Bayes theorem. We use the Navbase classifier to solve the classification problems and it works perfectly fine with almost all classification problems but it will create some problems uh, in real world scenarios that is uh, the zero probability problem to understand what is zero probability problem and how to remove this zero probability problem with the help of uh, Laplace smoothing we will consider one simple example here in this example we have been given uh, 14 instances and uh, 4 uh, features here outlook, temperature, humidity and wind and play tennis is a target here Given this particular data, we want to classify this new example into one of the class, either yes or no in this particular case. To classify this new example into one of the classes, the very first thing what we need to do is, uh, we need to cal calculate the prior probabilities, that is probability of yes and probability of no, as well as we need to calculate the conditional probabilities. Now the question comes in front of us is how to calculate these conditional probabilities. I have already discussed uh, this particular process. The link for that video is given in the description below. Do follow that particular video to understand how to calculate the conditional probabilities for the given data set. Now given this particular prior probability and the conditional probabilities, if you want to classify this new example into one of the classes, we have to calculate the two uh, posterior probabilities that is probability of yes given new instance as well as probability of no given new instance in this case. Now if you want to calculate the posterior probability this one, we need to use this equation that is the probability of S multiplied by probability of outlook is equal to overcast given S that is given to us here. Similarly probability of temperature is equal to cool given S that is also given to us. Probability of humidity is equal to high given S and finally probability of wind is equal to strong given S. Another one is uh, probability of no given new instance. Wherever there is yes is there, we need to replace that value with no over here. Now, if you want to solve this equation, uh, we know this particular probability of yes, that is 9 by 14. Probability of outlook is equal to overcast given yes, that is also known to us here. Probability of uh, temperature is equal to cool given yes, that is uh, known to us over here. Probability of uh, humidity is equal to high given yes, that is also known to us. Probability of wind is equal to strong given yes, that is also known to us here. Now we will be able to get the value for this posterior probability. But what about this one? We know this particular probability of no that is uh, 5 by 14 here. And if you want to know the value of this one, we will go to this particular table again. That is probability of outlook is equal to overcast given no. Outlook is equal to overcast given no is equal to 0 by 5 that is nothing but 0 here. And if you multiply 0 to anything over here, you will get the posterior probability of 0 here. So this is what is called as the zero probability problem in Navbase classifier here. In this case, uh, we got uh, zero uh, as a posterior probability for one of the class here. So we cannot continue from here onwards. We have to remove this particular zero probability problem. And then uh, we should be able to classify this particular example into one of the classes over here. To solve this uh, zero probability problem, we use uh, Laplace smoothing or Laplace correction in Navbase classifier. The equation for Laplace smoothing looks uh, something like this. P L A P comma K that is uh, Laplace probability with K as the smoothing parameter of X comma Y where X is the attribute value and Y is the class which is equal to C of X comma Y here where C is the count function and c of x comma y is the number of times x appears in y examples plus k that is a smoothing parameter divided by c of y that is the number of y examples here for example if we say y is no the number of no examples if y is yes the number of yes examples here plus k multiplied by x here again k is a smoothing parameter as said earlier which should be greater than 0 in this case, any value greater than 0. You cannot say that k is equal to 1, 2 or anything. You can start from 1, but it should be greater than 0 in this case. And x is uh, the number of values of that particular feature. For example, in this example, uh, we have considered uh, 
uh, outlook here because uh, for this particular outlook we have a issue here uh, so the number of uh, values of this particular outlook how many number of values are there one is sunny one more is rainy here and third one is overcast here so there are three values are there so x will become in that case three over here so now if this uh, generalized equation is converted to our problem it looks uh, something like this p l a p comma k of outlook is equal to overcast given no here that is the number of times uh, uh, outlook is equal to overcast given no appears we know that one uh, this is equal to zero plus k that is k we will start with one here so i will start with one and then uh, divided by the number of no examples i think the number of no examples are five here as stated earlier k is equal to one again and x the number of uh, possible values of this particular outlook that is equal to three so this is will become the numerator will become one here divided by five plus one into three that will become eight over here that i have written already over here if you look at this particular thing the probability of outlook is equal to that is actually the lap the laplace probability of outlook is equal to overcast given no is equal to 1 by 8 in this case so what was the previous value the previous value if you go back and see this particular table the previous value was 0 by 5 because it is 0 by 5 this particular value was 0 0 multiplied by anything the posterior probability of 0 here but after applying the laplace smoothing we got it is 1 by 8 1 by 8 uh, is not a 0 so you never get 0 for this particular uh, posterior probability if you don't get this particular 0 for this posterior probability the meaning is we have removed that particular 0 probability problem in new base classifier here and we will be able to calculate the posterior probability and then we will compare the posterior probability between these two the one which is having the maximum value that will be considered as the final class for the new example over here in this video i have discussed what is zero probability problem in new base classifier and how to avoid or remove zero probability problem in new base classifier with the help of laplace smoothing or laplace correction with a simple numerical example the com the complete example is solved in another video the link for that video is given in the description below do follow that particular video to understand the complete process like uh, calculating the prior probabilities conditional probabilities and so on i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.